This is Learning Target 2 retake video, solving linear equations. For the retake process, just a reminder, um, you will watch this video, we'll have your test out, so you're going to need your test out, and we'll go through the test questions. Then I'm going to give you some practice problems, and you'll need to complete those before meeting with your teacher and taking your retake. If at any point through this you need teacher's assistance, please be sure to contact your teacher um, and get some help through this. This is not meant to teach you alone. This is just a resource for you. Your teacher is another resource, so go ahead and use that if needed. Okay, but if this was just something small that you needed to fix and you feel confident after this video, then you can meet with your teacher and take your retake. So we're going to go ahead here and go through the problems on the test. Um, first equation, I see parentheses, so I know I need to distribute and get rid of those parentheses. So my second line here is going to be 2x plus 6 equals negative 2x plus a 66. That was something that was commonly mistaken on the test. Negative times a negative is going to give us a positive 66. From here, I'm going to get my variable on one side by adding 2x's to either side. Then I'm going to have 4x plus 6 equals now 66. I'm going to subtract my constant 6 and have 4x equals 60. Divide by 4, divide by 4, and x equals 15. Okay. Number 5 over here, I'm going to distribute again. 2 times a negative 2x is going to give us me a negative 4x. 2 times a negative 5 is going to give me a negative 10. And I notice right away here that that's the same thing as on the other side. And right now, I know any x I put in there is going to be the same on either side. I can go further here and add 10 to both sides and have 4x, negative 4x equals negative 4x. I can go even further and divide by negative 4 and have x equals x, and that really should tell you that you have infinite solutions because any x you put in there is going to work. It's going to equal itself at the end. All right, so infinite solutions. Some people put no solutions on the test, so that was incorrect. Over here, um, common mistake I saw is people tried to multiply by 2 right away, and they were like, oh, I see that it'll cancel here, I see that it'll cancel there. But if they did that, they forgot to multiply this 6 by 2 as well, okay? If you're going to multiply in an equation, you have to multiply everything in that equation. And it's not a bad idea, actually, so I'm going to go ahead and solve it that way and then show you a different way to solve it as well. So if we do that, then we have x plus 12 equals 15. Subtract 12, subtract 12, and x equals 3. So that's actually a pretty easy way to do it. Um, or simple, not easy. Um, over here, what I did, and maybe this was the more time-consuming way, I subtracted 6 right away. Um, and then when I subtracted it over here, I subtracted it as 12 halves, because I know that 6 is 12 halves. So then I had x divided by 2 equals 3 halves, and then I multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, and I got x equals 3. Okay, so either way you slice it. The biggest I, biggest thing here is people forgot to multiply that 6 by 2 as well. All right, then over here, distribute that 8, and we get 8x plus 16 equals 8x minus 3. Similar to up here, we have the same coefficient on both sides. The difference is that 16 does not equal a negative 3. So here we have no solutions. All right, so those are the questions on the test. The questions I want you to practice before retaking, and you have to practice all of these, even if you only got this kind of problem wrong, you need to do all four of these practice problems. The first one is going to be 6 times the quantity negative x plus 4 equals 4x. So go ahead, write that problem down, solve it in your notebooks. The second one is going to be x divided by 3 plus 14 equals 4 times quantity x plus 1 
plus another one. The third equation is going to be negative 5x plus 10 equals negative 5 times the quantity x minus 2. And then the final equation er, is going to be negative 3 times quantity x plus 10 equals 10. Oops, my mini is freaking out a little bit here. 10x minus 7 times quantity x plus 4. So go ahead, give those four each a try, and then see your teacher about taking your retake.